The Pacific Salmon Foundation is starting a new study to understand the role of herring in the salmon food web. Herring are critical to salmon. Juvenile herring can be important food to juvenile salmon that first enter the marine system as they boost growth and survival. Juvenile and adult herring are also food for adult salmon throughout the year. Presence of herring may buffer against the effects of seal predation on juvenile salmon. So if there's lots of herring around, seals may shift their attention away from juvenile salmon and instead focus on eating herring. If we can understand what drives long-term changes in herring abundance and distribution and how that impacts Strait of Georgia salmon, we can better inform salmon conservation and rehabilitation efforts. This work matters because we're attempting to fill in key knowledge gaps about herring ecology and how it relates to salmon, which are in decline in the Strait of Georgia. And the work that the marine science team is conducting, I know can teach us a lot about how to best protect and support salmon in the face of climate change. So in Victoria, we've had a lot of estuarine loss. In the early 1900s, we introduced a subspecies of Canada geese. During the summer molting period, these non-migratory geese head to the marsh systems and wreak havoc on these systems. That is a problem because tidal marsh systems are extremely important for salmon, particularly rearing juvenile salmon. So to lose the tidal marsh ecosystems is just one more blow to uh, our Pacific salmon populations. We've adopted something called ecocultural fencing it uses natural materials to create exclusions so that the geese don't go in and graze. We've seen some pretty promising results. We've seen vegetation come back where it was completely gone. And now we're kind of at this stage where we're trying to accelerate the recovery through different plantings. The support and funding that Pacific Salmon Foundation supplies Peninsula Streams is paramount. Not only from a resource side in terms of financials, but also in terms of the strategy, that added capacity with expertise and database support. All of these things work to lift organizations like ours up and be able to deliver effective stewardship programming and education programming to our region. It's one of those win-win-win situations that I think we're all kind of looking for in this work.